hello everyone welcome once again um today's tutorial is supposed to be really short and what i want to address is the archicad interface and i wanted to make something clear i've heard from one or two of you that i don't seem to post regularly truly that is the case because i have been very occupied and when i say very occupied uh let me just open this and you guys could just get a slight what would I call it? A slight inkling, a slight knowledge of how occupied I have been. I'm not saying it to prove that, hey, I'm the most busy person. But yes, I actually pay a lot of attention to this channel. I see all your comments and where my response is needed, I try to respond to everyone. So, as at my last recording, I believe... Uh, where is it? Is it that far down? Okay, as at my last recording, I think I made this project, but it's worked on it. Okay, as at the day when I last recorded, that was the 27th of May. So you can count and see on the screen how many other things I have had to work on since. And I would be a really bad architect if I'm just focusing on a YouTube channel and I'm not responding to my clients. So, the idea is, please keep in mind, I actually pay a lot of attention to you guys. And when I can, I try to record something. Okay, so going very straight to the point, sorry for that distraction. Uh, by the way, please like and subscribe. What this does is, it helps me gain more visibility on YouTube. You understand? So, each time I post this, more people get to see it. And... How is that a good thing? Well, if I'm sure that what I'm posting is not just going to five or six people who could probably still find similar information elsewhere, I am further motivated to spend even more of my time on this, okay? I'm not the best of the best out there, but trust me, if it can be done on Akikad, I can do it. And to a large extent, I can do it fast. And the reason I created this channel is so I could teach you guys how to do it too. Enough of the talk. So, what I'm going to be doing today is teach you how to set up your Akikad screen basically you know some people have mentioned that these icons that they see on my screen here they don't have anything like that then there's this ci that i use they don't see anything like that and you know other slight differences i think probably this model port live sync ci tools other things that they're not seeing on their screen and it's here on mine well let me start by saying three of these are plugins okay this is for card image it's created by the company called central innovation okay so it's a plugin that can be installed if you want to learn how to install it and what it's used for request in the comments and probably i'll make a different video on that this is live sync for lumion lumion is where i do my 3d renderings where i can transform a design that looks like this to a design that should look my screen is flickering and i can't tell why that's strange okay so something that looks like that and you know transform it is this it no it is this one yeah so something like this so that is for lumion and why i have it on akika rather than just using it using only the lumion software so when i make any changes if i would like to reduce the height of this corner window here it should reduce automatically on lumion that is what this does Model ports, on the other hand, is where I can import external 3D models. Take, for example, uh, one I did not so long ago. All right. Is it here? Um, no. All right. So, um, these are not supposed to mean much to you guys. But then again, as I said, it's the mindset is... So at least you get a bit of an idea of my workflow and how sometimes my work turns out really good. Okay, so what I'm trying to open right now is a 3D model that's not present on Archicad. And creating it on Archicad would take like forever. Seems like this is a very heavy one, 103 MB. Truly it is what you can see a preview of it right here. This is for a kind of wall cornice. Okay, so... If you want to be able to do stuff like this you need model port for that keep in mind all of these apps are paid for so please if you want to get them also be ready to commit financially to that I, they are not gotten for free okay um so to the interface the first thing about the interface is 
to learn how it actually works the way that it was designed to be used and if you want to change it for yourself good and fine all right so the working card interface is designed to be used is this big portion right here okay this portion where i'm drawing this big selection box right now it is called by me there is no official name for it okay it is called for me your work table this is my drawing table or my piece of paper if i was to use it related to hand drawing okay and then these are my tools my drawing tools such as the t square the pencil the set square the uh scale rule and all the rest they're over here i use these to draw here i hope that makes a lot of sense then over here is viewing options basically the different ways in which i can view what i have drawn here i get those different ways here i can view this as a plan you can see set of plans here i could view this in section mode hasn't been done for this project i could view this in elevations i could view with interior elevations worksheets details 3d documents and so on all right so you get the entire point what i pick from here i draw here i view it here then i get a bit of slightly varying viewing options down here all right so here i can choose the scale at which i'm viewing if i raise the scale to something like one is to 200 observe that the text seems bigger because texts are not generally affected by scale okay so if i return it back to the way it was we have something like this so this change scale then this helps me to control layers all right layers basically are how AkiCard organizes and knows what is what on this project. I have I've done a tutorial on layers already, so you could just go take a look at that if you are not very clear with what layers are. And this project hasn't been organized so much with layers. But let me just give you a quick control. If I didn't want to see the furniture here, I could search furniture, hide them, and they are just hidden, okay? Then this has to do with viewing the entire model as per structural members. Sorry, as opposed to structural members. If you are using Archicad as a structural engineer, as a civil engineer, you would actually be utilizing this if more often. This is for different pen sets. We have this architectural hundred. You could try um, this. You see that the view got slightly different. You could try this. You get and you could set these to behave just the way you want okay the stairs is still here by the way <laughs> it's just colored white and we can't see the portion above all right so uh i need to stop using filler words like uh all right so these are for model view options these are graphic overrides and please take notes in the future i'm going to be making tutorials about every single one of these tools i have big plans for this channel i just need a few extra hours a week to focus more on it okay so um yes at the top of this place are modifiers what do i mean by modifiers say for example i don't want this thing to be written in the flux architect font i want it to be written with gabriola font i can come search for gabriola on this list so i am modifying something i have placed here by utilizing some of the tools we have here i could make it bold i could make it dim i could make it underlined and it's not just referring to text alone by the way let me undo that so i don't just ruin things it doesn't really apply to that for this slab for example that's the entire floor i could say okay i want this slab to show some finishes you know by finishes i mean a feel on it and some might be asking so where is this where is the feel you spoke about well it's actually because we are on a graphic override that doesn't allow them to display once i switch it to no override we see something like this not what any one of us want to do but get the point the point is not that we should start playing with them all the i'm just trying to say all of these things on the screen have their purposes and you would get better with Archicad the more you can walk around them knowing exactly how everything is being used okay that said um let's go into how i created these and how you could create yours and how you can even place them differently i've seen some other architects who are really good and they have their screen looking slightly different this works for me might not work for you might have a different thing in mind and this is how we're going to do it. You're going to go to options. Then you're going to go to work environment. The name it already indicates like the environment where you're working. Okay. So you go to the work environment. And from there, just open the window. for the, 
there's a lot you can deal with all right so for this particular one they are called two bars they are found here okay now these two new two bars i created i think the names i gave to them uh i think one of them is arrange uh, i could actually do a search right okay yes arrange and i think there's another one that i named i can't remember it's been a long time since i did those uh if i see it i should remember attributes yeah so from over here to the end the attributes here to here is arrange and when i click on arrange it's showing me the tools that place the unify or set horizontal left blah 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 if you look over here you see those same set of tools again all the way to send to back similarly if i go to the other one that i called attributes you see from the attribute to the manager to the um what's it called layers and so on and so forth you see them all and one might be wondering what is this thing if you want a divider amongst these probably you want to categorize them differently you can always use one of these to do that okay so if i move the position of the divider for example to here between building materials and composites and i say okay for example observe that the dividing line now is over here unlike where it was before so let's get back to where we were um my system is being slow that's unusual and it's flickering am i the only one observing that on my cursor okay uh so if i want to create a new toolbar for some certain set of tools that i use take for example i want a toolbar that would deal that would help me switch quickly between uh different 3d view types okay so i'll first of all create new toolbar and i'll call it 3d view types and i say okay and now there is nothing here so to now bring in things for you can see file edit view and these are the same things you find all the way here all right or let me even change it let me rename it let's go with um a tuba for all my plugins all right so i'm going to call it the plugins tuba so from the ci tools i can go to the coverings i could bring in the roof covering and the wall covering i use this quite frequently i didn't need this and by the way if you want to select multiple at once hold control while picking them one at a time if they are all arranged side by side you can hold shift after clicking the first one then go to the last one and you get all of them together but if it's not a case like this just hold control and pick them one at a time all right i also want the edit roof edges i use that every now and then and so for now i'm going to add the selected and then they come up here okay next i would probably still want some other things in the ci tools like doors and windows they have shadow managers that could be really nice to use uh, let's keep that for now let's keep that for now the idea basically is not about what i want to do at the moment is what you might want to do for your own needs all right so another thing i use quite often is the live sync so this is to start live sync to pause it to stop so and the camera synchronization if you use lumion live sync you'll be familiar with this so i could just add this here then in model ports i could bring up open model editor uh, i think that's just about the ones i use quite frequently and okay so these are the major things from plugins that i use on archicad all right so um same detail level okay on model ports yeah 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 but i don't i think i'll skip that for now so in case there's more you want to bring in you know just keep on throwing them in once a time and once you're done you say okay but it doesn't appear on the screen no it does not how do you make it appear what you're going to do is you're going to go into window right here and then go to two bars and then activate the new two bar you created in this case the plugins i created and you can also take your time to go through the existing two bars there's a lot of really useful ones amongst them especially this model check i love that on screen view options is also useful and just because i don't use them doesn't mean they are not so useful it's you know sometimes my own ex existing workflow is already used to me just one time i want to assess them i go through this long route here here and then here i'm already used to that but you know for even 
to save some extra minutes, seconds, and in the long term, hours, if not days of work, you don't want your tools to be closer to you. So I'm activating this one called plugins. Automatically, they replace whichever the first was. I don't want it here. I want it like somewhere here. Let the rest be as they were. So I'm going to pick it up. I'm dragging it. You know how to drag with the cursor. If you don't, please just check on YouTube how to drag stuff with your cursor. I don't believe we have anyone around who shouldn't be familiar with that. But if we do, please, you know, you just click on the left part of your mouse and hold it while moving the mouse. All right. So now I have a new tuba for all of these. Okay. So in case I want another new tuba, I repeat the same process. In the next video, I should be showing how to create shortcuts. There are some processes we do and because of we're coming from apps like AutoCAD, Microsoft Word and the rest where we use shortcuts a lot, we are not so familiar with AkiCAD and the fact that there's not shortcuts for so many things. You can create your own shortcuts and the next video will be dedicated to how to do that. This is already long enough. See you in the next one. Please like, share, subscribe. If you have questions, I've been saying this and I'll keep saying it. Probably I should be saying it at the beginning of the videos because from my analytics, I can tell not everyone watched to the end. But if you have questions, ask me. You want to know how some shit gets done in Akikad? Sorry for the censored language for those who are offended. But you want to know how something is done on Akikad? Ask me. Like... Tell me, okay, I'm having such a challenge on Akikad. How do I overcome it? I am happy to answer. Even in my busy schedule, I can bring out time and focus on just your problem so you don't get stuck in your own project. So like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, and see you in the next one. Bye.